Can someone please uh, open this thing? Alright, welcome to another video guys. Today is another on day because gym closes in 30 minutes and I don't have time to train anything else. So, arms are this. I'm not complaining. Arm day is always good, you know. We're gonna do some drop sets, super sets, all the good stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to the workout. So the first exercise is going to be one for biceps, and this one is more focused on the time on the tangent. So what we're gonna do is grab a set of dumbbells, keep them like this, constant tension, and then do reps with the left one, five reps, and then hold, switch to the other arm, five reps, and then switch again. So, because we're holding the dumbbells like this and doing reps with the other one, the burn is unreal because there's constant tension by biceps. And yeah, I just like it. It gives a good pump, and that's what you want to have when you hit some arms because an arm pump is one of the best things in the world. You know it. So that was the last set, pretty heavy, I only got 10 reps each side, but hey, that was the goal, pump is pretty good, but yeah, we need to hurry up, because we don't have much time left, let's get to the first exercise for triceps. So the first one for triceps is going to be a dumbbell overhead extension, that one has the long head of the triceps, and you guys know it's the biggest part of your arm. So you gotta hit that long ad. Yeah, I managed to get 15 reps, wasn't too heavy, so we're gonna increase the weight and aim for 10 to 12 reps on the next set. So, when you drop the weight, make sure you don't crush your nuts. Because if you do that, you won't be able to train arms ever again. Next exercise for biceps, going to be a hammer curl variation. All we're gonna do is grab the dumbbells, do a wrap, come back halfway, come back up, and all the way down. And that's gonna be one wrap. 
we're going to aim for 12 to 15 reps again. And the last set, we're going to do a drop set. This one, you want to focus on keeping good form and not swaying too much because when you go too heavy, you can't control the weight and then you're gonna start swinging a lot, use all the momentum as possible, and yeah, you know, you're gonna make optimal gains. So set your ego to the side and do the exercise correct because that way you're gonna make the most out of your training. Now we're gonna drop the weight and go all the way to failure. The pump is just insane. Your skin just feels like it's about to rip. So that's what you want to go for. So the next one for triceps is going to be a dumbbell skull crusher. And it's only going to be a usual one because we're going to switch it up a little bit. So what you're going to do is grab the dumbbells like this. And normally you go down like this and come up. But now what you're going to do is twist the dumbbells and but don't drop them on your face because that one's going to hurt. This one is kind of the same as doing a rope pull down on the cable machine. So with the rope pull down, grab the cable and open it up like this at the bottom. So now you just do the same with the dumbbells, but lying on a flat bench. So bring the dumbbells to your face and then open up. So when you open up, flex tricep up at the top and that squeeze feels really good. And if you can do this variation, just do the regular one. It's also a really good one. I just like to switch it up from time to time. And this one just feels a bit different, you know? Same thing as doing just a regular bicep curl and then switching to a hammer curl, you know? See the difference in your bicep? When you do this, you just hit your bicep different. Same thing with triceps. So next, we got another curl variation. Now with this one, you want to start with regular curl, twist at the top, come down, but not twist again at the bottom. Keep it like this, and come up, twist.
so because you're twisting with this one, you also hit your forearms pretty good. So don't forget about your forearms because in my opinion forearms are one of the muscle parts that can make you look even more aesthetic. The last one for triceps is going to be a dumbbell kickback, chest supported, so no use of momentum, just a good squeeze and just think about the my muscle connection because with the kickbacks I see a lot of people just do this, you know, swing with that dumbbell like crazy, not getting a good squeeze, not focusing on the contraction. So yeah, chest supported, good squeeze, good my muscle connection and go for that juicy pump. We're gonna superset this with a close grip push up, tricep focus. So you wanna push with your tricep like you're doing a close grip bench press. Finisher of today is going to be one for the forearms. So I really like this one because it puts constant tension on your forearms and it just burns. I like it. So what we're gonna do is a dumbbell twist. So you wanna grab the dumbbells, keep them like this, and just twist your forearms like this. With this one you wanna keep the reps pretty high. So I'm aiming for 15 to 20 reps and really going for that burn. That was it for this workout. It was a quick one, but I managed to get it done. Gym closed in like two minutes, so it was a close call, but we did it. Pump is pretty solid, not gonna lie, it hurts. So that's why you know it's a good workout. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support, guys. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.